Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is part three of six, where I am breaking down all of the digital nomad jobs that I listed in my 50 nomad jobs video to explain each of them in a little bit more detail. I've already done a video on jobs that you can do with no skills at all, which are ones where I could say from pretty much day one you can start making money, and also jobs where if you have a pre-existing qualification or skills or years of experience, you can do them as a freelancer. These are kind of jobs that are in the middle where you do need to learn some skills but very early on in the learning process you can start to make money from selling them. So enough chat, let's get started. The first one is SEO. This is search engine optimization, and it's all about how to get your websites appearing higher on Google. Now this obviously is a skill, you can't just pick up your computer and do search engine optimization but it doesn't take that long to learn, certainly at a kind of intermediate level. There's a lot of online courses, there's a lot of blogs that will give you a lot of information about it. So if you start researching and reading about it, you should be able to sell your services doing SEO pretty early on, certainly much earlier than becoming a web developer, for example. So, if you are already a bit interested in tech, I'd really recommend learning about SEO and then you can become a freelancer as you get better at it and as you learn more, you can start charging higher and higher prices. Next is being an event planner. This one I've put in this category because I wouldn't say it's something you can do with no skills at all, but I also wouldn't say you necessarily need to be a fully fledged qualified event planner to be a freelancer. It's kind of in the middle, which is what this video is about. So if you are someone who is organized, creative, well-connected, persuasive, then you can probably try some event planning. Again, you'll start off quite small, not charging very much, maybe organizing some little things in a local restaurant or for a band or for a charity. And then as you work way up, you'll start doing bigger corporate events and conferences and that kind of thing. Next is designy type of things. So fashion design, product design and graphic design. All of these you can be amazing at, charge a lot of money, have years of qualifications and practice, but also I think they're the kind of thing where if you're already quite creative, you have a good eye, maybe you know how to use Photoshop, you can start to play around with these and do some low paying jobs to get a bit of a portfolio together. These I think you can learn if you're just interested in it and you put a bit of time in and start off at a beginner level. I don't think you necessarily have to have a fully blown qualification, although if you do, of course you're gonna be making more money. So these ones, start playing around, create some invitations to sell on Etsy, have a bit of a play and see where it takes you. Next is being a virtual assistant. This is very popular with nomads because again, you don't necessarily need a qualification. If you're someone who is organized, reliable, good at Excel, good at Word, um, very responsive on emails, that kind of person could be a great virtual assistant. Often virtual assistants are doing phone work, um, either dealing with customer service or booking hotels and flights, all that kind of thing. So if you're someone who is naturally very organized, very reliable, um, probably has very good English, then you could be a virtual assistant. And then the last one is trading. This is most likely gonna be stock trading, but it could also be currency trading. There's lots of different ways online that you can make money if you have a very mathematical brain already. For these, it would be helpful if you know some code, but you don't have to. And again, similar to doing SEO, there's quite a lot of tutorials out there. You can buy online courses, books, read blogs, to learn about how to get started as a trader. And maybe you start off just putting $100 into some stocks, play around, see if you can start making a profit, start to understand the market. You don't necessarily need a qualification or years of practice in trading to be good at it. It's more of a natural skill and putting in some hard work on the research side. So those are just a few jobs that you can do learning straight from day one and making money pretty early on in the learning process. With something like coding, I feel like you need to know it a lot better before you can start making money. 
but these skills are ones that you can start off and start getting a few clients from very early on in the process and experiment and see if it's the job for you. So I hope you guys find that video useful. I will look forward to seeing you in part four and if you haven't already seen the other three I will link them down below and don't forget to subscribe and switch on your notification bell to see the other parts. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!